All right, guys, what is up? It is Alex back with what will be the last part of our Borderlands playthrough. Even if we have to sp uh, take this episode a little longer than 30 minutes, it will be the last part. I want to thank you guys all for being here and watching this, even if you uh, even if you just found me randomly, or this is five years in the future and I've you know given up the YouTube thing entirely, or I'm huge. Who knows what could happen in half a decade? Uh, one way or another, thank you. This is the end of my first series that I started, um, and it means a lot to actually get to the end of it and upload everything. So, here we go. You have failed to reach me with Commandant Steel. I've warned you time and again, yet you persist on ignoring my orders. The contents of the vault are rightfully the property of the Archivist. But this is it. You belong to me. Just fucked out of nowhere. <laughs> Don't give up. This All creature right. may be immortal in its own realm, but in this reality, it cannot survive without a host. And that makes it vulnerable. When it becomes flesh and blood, it can be hurt. Even what am I getting hit by? How do I avoid it? Spot a crit no, it's not. Be high. I should probably switch to I mean I can leave it on shock it's not that big a deal right all right so this is the cheese I can do where I can actually just kind of sit right here and just shoot this repeatedly um, so like this would be my cheese for this whole fight I could really just continually do this um, we're going to play it the way it was supposed to be played, just because I don't want the whole last episode to just be a boring crouch behind a wall and shoot the same thing over and over again. But that would be a way to complete this. If you guys are having trouble getting through this on your uh, your game, that is something you can do. Oh boy. Oh my god. I can't move. Why can't I move? Fuck you. I still can't move. What's going on? Oh my freaking god, I opened the console commands again. I need to unkey that. I need to unkey that. What the fuck? He's gonna eye blast me again. Fuck you. I thought I couldn't move because of the eye blast. So I was just sitting there waiting for it to be over like a freaking idiot. So, again, we see the not stellar game design. Uh, once again, a, a you know a newer studio creating a new idea that would eventually become like you know a pretty awesome game. Um, but we can see that the the boss here, the final boss of the game, is a rather easy boss to, to deal with in general. Nothing really scary about it or intriguing about the fight. Um, Super cheesable if I wanted to. Once again, I could just literally crouch right here and just shoot up at its tentacle. Um, I feel like they really got it down when they got to Borderlands 2, but final boss of this game just being that easy. Bum, bum, bum. 
she was a satellite the whole time. So that's a little uh, teaser for one of the, uh, I think one of the DLCs they did. Um, I, when I when I beat a game the first time, I usually do let the credits roll just to let them roll. But I've beaten this game many times, and I don't want you guys to sit here for like ten minutes while they roll. So, um, let's see what the final boss dropped for us. What awesome guns and the things did we get? All right, we got a purple class mod and. A really shitty shotgun and a revolver that's significantly worse than our revolver okay okay um it had to have dropped something better somewhere else ammo all right um all right um a light gun it's actually a really good sniper hold on we won't replace our sniper with that one okay that's really good okay thank you um <laughs> nothing of note though um, yeah, I'm just looking around to make sure it didn't drop anything anywhere else, but it does not seem to have. So, an unfortunate drop from our boss, but nothing that was actually, like, a surprise, right? All right, well, let's go turn the key back into Tannis. I actually don't know where Tannis is in the world. Um, I wish there was a... Uh, there was a world map I could look at. Um, so Tannis was in Rust Commons West. So if we go to New Haven, I feel like that's a pretty solid place to jump to first, and then we can see if we still have to go to West, and we'll just jump around from there until we get to Tannis. Because I'm not making that run back. Fuck that. Like five ways till Sunday. All right, Rust Commons West. That would be the Outer Yard. I think there's two different Rust Commons West. I'm going to go to the outer yard. I think that's the right area. And if it's not, we'll just drive. Because Tannis is still going to be located in that same home, right? Yeah. Am I in the right spot? Yeah, I'm about as close as I'm going to get. Already. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Motorola. That's Motorola, right? I actually don't know. All right, Claptrap, I literally opened the mythical vault and I'm on my way to return the key to the vault to the interplanetary scientist. I, I could care less about what Scooter, Crazy Earl, Helena Pierce, or the New Haven Bounty Board has for me. I just had to yell at him one more time, guys. You understand how it is. It's Claptrap. He, he requires a little rough handling. It's probably what pissed him off so much to become an interplanetary assassin, right? Does she now? And then, does what does Crazy Earl have for me? Is is Crazy Earl part of this? Does he have anything for me, boy? Well, don't don't stop there. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat, Claptrap. I don't know what Crazy Earl has in store for me, and I need to know. It's super important. I mean, just to stop being annoyed by it. Let me put the point in there. That chump vault hunter? How about that chump vault finder? As that is what I eventually did. Get dead, get dead, get dead, get dead. Get dead. Get dead. Get dead. Ow, fuck you. Cool. What can you do for me? All right. And I think that's the end of the game. I have no other main quests to go on. Already then. I, I could go do some side quests, but I feel like at this point these side quests mean nothing. Um, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. It was a short one, but, you know, sometimes that's, that's what happens. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could like, comment, subscribe, do anything you can to help me rise up the YouTube algorithm so other people can enjoy my content, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I will be back soon with another playthrough, whether that's uh, you know Far Cry 6, which I'm considering, or I just jump straight into Borderlands 2. I'm not certain yet, but 
whatever it is, I will be here. I will play. I will commentate. I'll get mad, and we'll have a great time. So for the last time for Borderlands 1, until next time, see ya.